Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today I want to talk about using thumbnails to do some iteration. And I want to make sure to give credit where credit is due. This idea came in large part from the artwork that Mike Yamada created in a book called The Skillful Huntsman. So if you haven't gotten this book yet, get it. It is amazing. But the basic idea here is to use your first round of silhouettes as a starting point, not a final thing. So let's say I drew these four robots, and I like one of them. We'll say this second one here. Well, I'm going to use this as the first iteration of my thumbnail. So I'll copy it, put it into a new document. And now I'm going to take this and play with it, try a couple different variations. But I'm going to keep the silhouette as is. Now I'm going to start thinking about the interior shapes. So I'm going to duplicate this a few times. And now what I'm going to do is control click on this thumbnail to pull up a layer selection. I'm going to make a new layer group and apply that as a mask to it. So now at this point, anything I draw inside of this group will be restricted to drawing inside these robot silhouettes. So just as an example here, I'll make a new layer. I'm going to pick a ugly red color so you can see very clearly what's happening. And you can see I'm only able to draw inside the robot silhouettes. Awesome. Now what I'm able to do is to think about different design shapes, play with different values of black and white, and try out different ways that this robot might look. And so here I'm really only thinking in graphic terms. I'm switching between the brush and the eraser tool, and I'm just putting in different areas of value. And here I've started with sort of a medium value, but you could do a whole range if you wanted. And it's amazing if you just work on interior shapes, how different this robot can look. So I've jumped ahead a bit here, and now I've finished this round of iteration. So maybe now there are two that I like out of here. So I will select them. And we'll copy them into yet another document. So at this point, I'm really narrowing it down. I'm starting to get the idea that I like. So maybe I want to focus just on the lights in this round. So maybe they're sort of eyeball-looking lights on these creatures, or lights that have a patterning element like that. And I could work in this way for as long as I wanted each round focusing on one specific aspect of the design. So you can see the whole idea here is to move one step forward and try out a variety of different ideas. Because then when you look at all these next to each other, it's easy to say, well, I like one better than the other. Because there's not much to compare. You're only comparing minor differences. And it doesn't take much time to generate a page of iterations like this. A lot of people get tripped up thinking that creativity is this magical force. But reality is, if you give yourself a routine like this to follow, it's really more of like an equation. Eventually, you're going to have some interesting ideas come out. And working through a process like this eliminates some of the sense of the blank white canvas. Because after the first round where you had the initial silhouette, really all you're doing is painting in a coloring book. And of course, this is something that you've always been able to do with a photocopier and markers. As you've seen in this video, the layer masking that Photoshop brings to this process really speeds it up. Because you don't have to worry about going outside of the lines. So you can just iterate and go on to the next page. So check out The Skillful Huntsman if you haven't yet. Also, as a word of warning, you should probably watch the video I've linked in the bottom of the post about the danger of drawing silhouettes before you attempt something like this. But if you're going to give it a go, have fun. Thanks for watching, guys.